Hello, I'm Leanna. I'm a book artist from the Pacific Northwest. Last time, in my last video, I showed you how to make these crazy quilt tags. Real sweet, real fun, and you use little scrap pieces, which makes it all the more wonderful, I think. Today, what I want to do, I want to show you how to make this quilt block. This is a block that I made using, ta-da, washi tape. All it takes is three different kinds of washi tape. Pick any of them. These weren't like my favorite or anything like that. They just happened to be the first that I saw. So I grabbed them and I made a block. Whoops. So this is what we're going to do. While I grab my supplies, there's three things that you can do. If you would like, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe and hit the bell. And then you'll get, you'll get notifications when I have future videos. I try to do them every week, multiple times a week when I can. It varies. So these are the supplies we're going to be using. A scrap piece of paper, washi tape, you want at least three colors, and then a glue stick potentially. So to determine the size that you want, the width, I'm going to be using these three pieces. So I want to make sure I have about double the size. So this ends up being about one and a half inches, so I want to make sure my sheet here is at least three inches wide. So to start out with, grab one of your washi tapes. I'm going to use a wider one and I want to place it just right along the edge of that piece right there. Boom, that's good. Now this particular washi tape has a nice stick to it. It really holds. This one's pretty good and this one's, you know what, it's not so great. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some glue stick. I'm going to put some glue stick down, down here just to make sure that my washi tape does actually take hold. So then I'm going to take this strip, put it right up against the next one. And then I'm going to take my last strip and put it right up there. So now I have my three pieces. I can lift that up. And all I need to do is just fold those to the back so that when I cut them, they're not in the way. So just to make sure, I'm going to take my ruler, I'm going to measure. So I have it right at an inch and a half. I, I did that nicely. I did a good job. <laughs> so I'm going to put that there and just cut it at one and a half inches. Then I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to put it also at one and a half inches. And then my last portion should be one and a half inches as well. So as I'm measuring the one and a half inches, I should tell you, um, if you have it a little bit longer, that's okay. You just don't want it shorter. And when I say not shorter, I'm talking about this. If this is a little, you do this a little bit wider, that's fine because you can cut it off. You just don't want it shorter because then it's going to be the wrong size. Now that I have these two pieces right here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this one. Well, I'm going to do it to both, and I'm going to cut them right in half from angle to angle, from tip to tip. Both of them from tip to tip. And that's easiest to do with a longer pair of scissors like this, as opposed to like, it's a little bit more difficult because you have to move your scissor twice if you use a shorter one like the Tim Holtz one. Now what you want to do, um, you can either do this on a scrap piece, do the design, or you can do it straight on the piece that you want to do, like a tag like that. What this part encompasses, and I'm just going to use my normal wet glue for this portion, you can use either glue. You're going to take a triangle and put a triangle on the end, like that. And then you're going to take another triangle piece, glue that, and put it tip to tip. So now you have another triangle shape and you just kind of move it around and make sure it's all positioned nicely. Then you grab another piece, put it to the center, match up the tips. There you go. And then the third piece I'm going to grab, <laughs> keep on having these little pieces of uh, thread from earlier today. And there's it right along the edge there. So now I have that nice square. I can cut this out.
and now I have this ready to design with. You can make a bunch of these up in advance and then use them on your work. See right there? I'll tell you too, I decided this one was a little bit too bright. I didn't want it so bright. I wanted to have it more of a vintage look. So I took my ink and kind of went around it. Isn't this just a fun little easy project? It's a great thing you can do to just add to your stash. You can sew around it if you want. I opted not to. I chose to instead just sew right around my card. So there's your little tip for today, how to make little quilting blocks for your paperwork, for your journals, for your fun. Have a great day, everybody. I will see you soon with another fun thing to make. Talk to you later. Bye.